Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make edits or additions to your pollination model. So let's get started by looking at making some surface edits. So say you wanted this open office space here to be larger. So you can pretty easily do that. So I'm going to hit Control Shift and I'm going to actually select this surface right here. And I'm simply going to use the gumball to move it two meters, so it's two meters longer. And that moves everything except for the apertures. So you have to kind of go and select the, you have to hit Control Shift and select, or you can go into isolated mode and select all of them to move them. So I'm going to select all, hit move, I'm going to hit tab so that it's aligned and I'm going to make sure I tab it to the end corner here so that it's coplanar. Now once I've done that I still feel like I might want to change the roof here so I can go ahead and select an edge and I can raise that by 0.5 meters to give it a slight slope and what that will do is it will automatically you can see that slope and if you don't like that and you want to raise it, you can hit Control Shift again and select the room edge and raise it another 0.5. Now, the only thing to keep in mind when you're making changes by edges or even by surfaces is if you've already joined all of the rooms and created an analytical model, um, it can start creating non-planar surfaces because the edges are shared. It doesn't duplicate the edge when you um, extend or extrude uh, a surface or an edge. So what I mean by that is if I was to select this edge, you can see this selects um, a very small portion of the whole line. And if I was to try to raise that by 0.5, it's going to give me an error for non-planar surface. We cannot have any non-planar surfaces in our energy model or in a daily, um, okay? So we wanna avoid those. So I'm gonna just close this and I'm gonna control Z to undo that. So you just have to be mindful of the surfaces or the edges that you select when you already have a model that's created. Um, adding rooms and merging spaces is much easier. You can say, for example, I wanted to add a space to the extension I just created. So say here's my room and I want it to be a short room. So I just want it to reach maybe three meters high. Okay. Um, and actually you can also split this room. So actually let's turn that into a honeybee room first. Sorry, a pollination room. And that's done. So we can type in PO split room and select the room that you want to split. So there's a couple of options in the command line. You can do a three point split, which would draw a horizontal cutter. So if you want to split the room in half in height, or you can choose vertical, which will allow you to create a vertical split. I'm going to undo that. Or you can let me type in PO split again. You can choose the center point and it will split it from a center point. This is useful um, in a few scenarios where you, like maybe a sphere or something where you've got it toggle to snap to the center point and the last option is around a curve so you just need to have a curve that you're drawing and you want it to you know be a certain distance and that didn't work because it's not the right curve you want to draw a curve and make sure that it aligns and it fits the way that you want you need it to be so let's just go ahead and split this room by vertical in the center. 
I'm going to split it in half, and then I want to increase the distance of this so I can change that. Sorry, decrease the distance. And then I already have here a dome. Oh, I don't have a dome. Say I wanted to add a dome. So you can do that by using the sphere. And I want it to be a small dome. Um, this creates a surface. So you want to create a mesh from that surface. So you type in mesh. Uh, fewer polygons, the better, because it's easier to calculate as long as it retains the form that you were looking for. Um, I would try to minimize how many polygons you have. So hit OK. I'm going to delete that surface. Now I'm going to take that mesh and turn it back into surfaces by hitting mesh to NURB. So the command is mesh to NURB. And I'll hit delete on the original mesh. So now I have here a poly surface. And we need poly surfaces for our analytical model. So I'm going to explode the sphere because I only want the bottom half of the surfaces for my dome. And there you go. And then I'm going to select everything and join it back. And now I can move this to the top of my room and just kind of center it where I'd like it. I might need to scale this. So I'm going to scale by endpoints. Make it a little bit smaller. You can move this to wherever you like. I'm just going to put it right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this room that it's assigned to. I'm going to right click on the room in the pollination panel and I'm going to say remove properties for now because I want to take this geometry, I want to explode it, and I want to split the roof using native Rhino command. So you're going to collect, so it's split it into two surfaces and I can delete the circle inside. And now what I can do is join everything. So let's select everything and join it together. Oh, I selected some windows. Okay. And join that together. Now there's, I can add back that room. And there you go. So in this case, we actually have part of the dome reading as walls. So there's two ways that you can make um, changes to that. You can go to, you can select the room that you just created, go to your pollination panel, and click on that room. And you can select the faces, um, the, wall, uh, the wall faces of the dome. So the way to do that is you're going to select all, and then we're going to unselect the roof faces and you know their roofs because the icon shows a little red on top. So we don't want to select the roof surfaces. We only want to select the wall surfaces. Oh, I'm clicking, I'm selecting or deselecting by hitting control. There you go. I think I got all of them. Yep. That's all of them. And you can go to edit and you can change the properties so that they are all roof and ceiling and click OK and that will automatically update the model so that they are all roof surfaces. You can also um, undo everything so if you hit Control Z before you assign the room and you can just add it again and change the max roof angle so that it's closer to 90 something like 89 and hit OK. And that should do it. So that's the two ways that you can make edits. The last thing I want to show you is how to merge the rooms. So you can see in the pollination tab I have two rooms with no properties assigned to it. But these two rooms are going to be part of my open office. It's going to be all open. Instead of having to model all of the surfaces uh, individually, we can use PO merge rooms 
and when you select that uh, command you want to select a host room so this is the room whose properties I want to assign to my two new rooms and I will click enter and you'll see they disappear in the pollination tab the rooms that were there previously and if you select open office it selects all of the geometry that we just added and if we go to our preview and we look turn off the roof you can see that it is all one room and it's removed the walls between the spaces that I just created or the volumes and that's how you make modifications and add to your model at any point. Thank you.